and is what you heard in the theater that night consistent with what you know to be gunfire? Yes, uh, I did not recognize the the first sets of shots, but after the AR was being fired, I identify it as as an auto rifle. That's when I like got scared. I started praying at that point. So you hear this first round of shots that you couldn't identify. What do you remember immediately after hearing the first round of shots? I remember Moni standing up and then Jesse getting up. And the way he got up was like a little towards the left, towards her. And then I, I, I see them, Joel. And then he like went towards me and fell and fell down. And when he fell down is when I told everyone to get down. And I'm just going to ask you to move that microphone a little bit closer to you to make sure that they really can hear you up there. Now, what do you remember after you saw Jesse jolt and fall down? Um, I told, I, at that point, I told everyone to get down. Uh, Chi-Chi was right below me right by my, my legs. Um, Moni was in, in front of me. Um, I just, I rem just remember being, being really scared, um, hearing, hearing those gunshots. Like, as I said, the, once I did find the, the AR, I, was pretty sure that someone was going to start walking through the aisles shooting. And what do you remember happening after you were worried about that? Um, <clears throat> I remember um, at some point where the, the uh, gunfire pausing, asking, Moni like to start moving down because the, those seats were um, empty and, and trying to maybe start getting us to, to get out. But once the, the um, once the gunfire started back up, we we all just stopped and then stayed where we were. Could you hear anything else in the theater going on at the time? You could hear uh, people. I, I heard. I remember hearing someone at during at the pause of the gunfire yelling to, um, telling people to run. Um, you um, could hear like a lot of screams, people um, yelling people's names. Um, it, it was really chaotic. It was really chaotic during that time. And after there was a pause, did you hear more gunfire? What did you hear? Yes, after the AR-15, stop you heard a, the, a handgun firing I don't know how many times it fired but there were shots from a handgun how do you know it's a handgun I, I fired the nine nine mil and it sounded close to that sound I had to qualify with a nine millimeter so how many different types of weapons do you think that you heard being fired off in that theater I believe it was three I believe I heard three types of weapons the, the beginning with the, the sh shotgun, I distinctly knew there was a, um, an auto rifle, and then I heard the, the handgun at the end. Did you ever see a shooter? No. When I, when I looked during the, those first blasts and saw the flashes, I could not make out what was – down or to the right. It, I could not make out. I just seen the flashes. I don't know if it was due to the flashes that it was so dark in that area, but I did not make anything out at that time. I really wish I did. Maybe we would have got down sooner, but I, I didn't make anything out. How would you describe those flashes that you saw? Like bright, like just bright. 
bursts, like bright flashes. I did. I couldn't identify what it was at, at that that specific time, but I distinctly remember seeing the bright flashes, and the and like I said, I if you would ask me at that time, my my my, my thinking was like firecrackers or or someone playing a prank at that at that point when I seen it. Did you ever smell anything in the theater? Yes, uh, you smelled the gun powder and the tear gas or gas. So how do you think, why do you think you smelled gas? Well, I've smelled tear, the tear gas before in, in training. They, they would do tear gas for, you know, introduction to to that smell. At the Department of Agriculture? No. <laughs> in the Air Force, sorry. <laughs> and so you were, had been exposed to tear gas in the military prior. Yes. And what you smelled in the theater that night was a consistent yes, with your Yes, yes, but too. you could also smell. It was uh, intermingled with the, the gunpowder also. I could smell from the, from the um, gunfire. So what do you remember next after lying on the floor in the theater? We stayed we stay there at the, on the floor. Um, I remember thinking... I was looking back towards the the right side, towards the aisle, and and, and just thinking to myself, if someone comes up the aisle, I have to do something. And I was just, I just, I was like, I'm going to die. That's what I was thinking the entire time, laying there on the floor. Um, we laid there, and we laid there until we were told to get up. I I stayed down even when the lights came on, and they, they basically had to say, if you're not hurt, get up and get out of the theater. That, that's, when, that's when I got up is when they told us to get up. What did you see when you got up? I seen Jesse laying there. I, I started yelling his name and I and I shook him and I tried to pick him up. I could not pick pick him up, and I, I just kept yelling. They once again had to tell us to um, to get out of the theater. And w when you when you were leaving, you saw bodies around and um, right when going out of the exit, you saw like rounds on the on the ground going out of the exit when they took us out of the the exit into the parking lot. What exactly were you saying when you were yelling Jesse's name? I, w I was yelling his name, Jesse, Jesse, and uh, and shaking him. Like I said, I tried, I really tried to pick him up. I could not. It was one of the big things stands out in my mind that I could not pick him up. I wanted him to come out with us. <laughs> 